background apparently. So I am apparently 60.5% European, 38.1% Sub-Saharan African, 1% East Asian and Native American, and then 0.4% um, 56.5% European. I expected that. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be so high. 16.2% French and German. German and French. 16.1% British and Irish from United Kingdom. 1.2% Scandinavian, which derives from North Germanic tribes. So 0.8% Iberian. Ooh, 17.3% broadly Northwestern European. That tells me nothing. 2.0 broadly Southern European. Southern Europe, including the Iberian, Italian, and Balkan peninsulas, as well as the island of Malta. <laughs> what are you guys? Are you seeing what we're seeing? What? What is going on? I'm Scandinavian, 66%. Ah! <laughs> I don't know. Wow, 55.5% European, and that breaks down into 55.5% Northwestern European, and 45.2% of that is British and Irish. 7.2% French and German. 0.9% Scandinavian and 2.2% broadly Northwestern European. 44.3% Sub Saharan African, where 39% of that is West African. 29.3% is. Right, so I actually am learning I am more white than black. Surprise, surprise. I am 54.2% European. That's very interesting because my dad's what I thought was full black. I don't even full African-American, like he's very dark skinned, very, very dark skinned. And then my mom's very pale, very fair skinned and white with blue eyes. Like she had blonde hair as a kid, but now it's like brown. I'm 54.2% European. I'm 41.6%, that's a big chunk. I'm 41.6% British and Irish. Um, it's giving me Glasgow City, United Kingdom, and then County Dublin, Ireland. So that would make sense because the whole um, Bell side of my family, that's my mom's last name and my grandfather. And like, they all kind of look Irish, European. Does that make sense? Okay, so let me look into that more. It like breaks it up. So highly, like, highly likely United Kingdom and very possibly Ireland. So it breaks it down into, yeah, so I was right. The United Kingdom, that, that little like island part of Ireland and the United Kingdom is the 41.6% of my DNA. And then I got Southern European, 11.6%. Iberian, Italian, Island of Malta. I'm 8.6% Italian, so that's interesting because that means like, even though I thought that was gonna be way higher than it was, I'm more from the United Kingdom and like Ireland than I am from Italy. But 8.6% um, Italian, 3% Spanish and Portuguese, I'm actually Jewish. <laughs> I am 0.2%, so very little, but I am, I don't even know how to pronounce this, Ashkenazi Jewish, 0.2% Ashkenazi Jewish. Cool. And then, oh my gosh, this is so funny because, so Abby's best friend from college and her roommate, um, she is Tanzanian, so she was like, was she born in Tanzania? Abby's in the room right now. She was born in Tanzania, and um, we're always asking, because she like grew up there, we're always asking her like, what kind of African I look like, like what um, like demographic and de area of Africa, like my facial genetics look like, because I don't know her, like what my dad's side of the family looks like. And I think, I think Melissa guessed this right, because I'm 41.7% Sub-Saharan African, so, more white than black because I'm 54.2% European and now 41.7% Sub-Saharan African. I am 37, so 37 of that 41.7%. I am 37.1% West African, which considers 18.9% Nigerian of the Igbo people. I am 9.4% from it says Ghanaian, so for Ghana, I'm assuming, Liberian, and Sierra Leone. 
And then I'm 3.8% Senegambian and Guinean, so Guinea. 5% broadly West African, including the Anglin, Congolese, broadly Congolese and Southern East African. And then it gave me 0.2% African hunter-gatherer. I'm more European than I am African, but none of my parents identify as white. I am 54.1% North um, European, and within that 54.1%, I'm 50.1% Northwestern Europe. 